plastics are fairly important in our day-to-day -day lives. They're used in bottles, toys, packaging, and many other familiar things. But what are plastics? Plastics are any synthetic or semi-synthetic organic solids that are malleable. In other words, they are man-made or partially man-made substances that can be bent or stretched or, or changed in shape. Also, it is noteworthy that plastics are types of polymer. Typically, plastics are organic polymers with high molecular mass and are, de and are derived from petrochemicals found in crude oil. The advantages of plastics are that they have low cost, are easily made, are versatile, and also impervious to water, meaning water cannot pass through. That's what makes them good for making bottles. So what sorts of uses do plastics have? At first glance, it, may, it, it seems that a lot, if not most of the plastic we see, is used in packaging. But that only takes up one third of plastic consumption in most developed countries. Perhaps surprisingly, another third of plastics are actually used for construction or industrial purposes, mainly being used in PVC water pipes in buildings, or a bit old-fashioned side panels on houses. The last third of plastic consumption includes uses like automobile parts, furniture, toys, and much more. In our daily lives, it's not apparent that there are any other types of plastics than, well, plastics, but there are actually various types of plastics that have slightly different properties used for different things. The most common type of plastic is polyethylene, or polyethylene if you're from America. With 80 million tons produced annually across the world, polyethylene is mostly used in packaging and can be seen in bottles, boxes, and wrapping, etc. It has a surprisingly simple structure. Basically, a repeating structure of ethene, as the name polyethene suggests. Poly meaning many ethenes. Because these polyethene molecules have various sizes, this, this plastic is actually a mixture of similarly structured molecules with different lengths. Another type of plastic is polychloroethene, more correctly known as polyvinyl chloride, or by its popular short form, PVC. This plastic has made its way to the third most produced in the world. PVC is most mostly used in construction in its rigid form, think side paneling of houses. The flexible version is usually used in plumbing and, insul and insulation of buildings. Uh, the most popular fabric of the 1940s, nylon. It is a silky material that is commonly found in women's stockings and in industrial and military purposes. Nylon is extremely strong, this is commonly attributed to its amide bonds. Finally, terylene, scientifically named polyethane terephthalate. You might be more familiar, however, with its short form, PET. This polymer is mostly used in synthetic fibers more than 60% of the time, the other 30% being in bottle production. This is the molecular structure of PET. We all know that plastics have a pretty big impact on the environment, but what are the actual effects? Well, plastics are very durable, which makes them degrade very slowly after they're thrown away. This is because they have strong chemical bonds. Microplastics get into marine food chains, and plastic also allows toxic chemicals to accumulate in them. This causes toxic chemicals to accumulate in the food chain, causing damage to the fish population. The chemicals may also then get ingested by humans. Currently, 50 to 80 percent of marine debris is plastic. One way to deal with waste plastic is incineration, but this releases toxic chemicals and pollutants that get into the atmosphere. Controlled incineration is used to reduce this problem. Plastics are heated above 850 degrees Celsius for two seconds, causing most toxins to break down. Selective parts of the plastic are then given additional heating. In addition to this, blue gas treatments also reduce further the pollutants that are given off into the air. Pyrolysis is another way to deal with waste plastic. It breaks down plastics into smaller hydrocarbons, allowing them to be reused. However, this process has a fatal flaw. It is slow and costly. Some plastics can also be melted down and recycled. However, these plastics need to be sorted. Simpler plastics like bottles can easily be sorted, but plastics in, say, a cell phone are so diverse that it would cost more to recycle the plastic than to produce fresh plastic. Furthermore, recycled plastic reduces in quality every time, eventually becoming unusable.